What did I run into? It has three forms in total. Mm, interesting. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the Team Star's base. I mean, it. I take it means you are decide to join my operation? I guess so. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a sec. I don't want to do this. What is Operation Starfall? What is this Operation Starfall of yours? Have you room for one more member? Is this the damn principal? In a wig? And a student uniform? What? Who, who are you? Uh, my name is Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get into the hack, hackless raised. No need to get your hackles raised. He's asking us about slang so he can pretend to be a child. And to help us or see what this Operation Starfall. That's why he's asking us about slang. If he uses the dang slang I taught him, I'm gonna smack him in the head. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Masu? We're not pals. Ah, <laughs> shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you could just join for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort... Need to sort of... To sort some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you could take my word for it, but... Oh my god, excuse me, but it's true. I suppose I can... I'm hardly in the position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Well, that settles it then. You think you're gonna head to sleep? So have a good night. Have a good night. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who are you exactly? I think it's Penny, to be honest. Team Star and I share some history. That's all I will say for now. In that case, I won't press any you any further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk about Operation Starfall. Yes, what do we have what do you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Starfall's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team, and you can put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their rule somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gate of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those base of this base proper, uh, and somewhere within the base lies one of our targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's the outline. The key to the whole thing of the operation, the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they have just happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under my, under your name, Masu. They're, they're basically declarations of war. Now, all of Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. You s so, let's say we defeat all the bosses, and then they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan with no wrinkles. Uh, a solid plan, not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside of the to fend off intruders, the, and the base themselves are considerable in size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before there's anything they were anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Masu. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunt that might be guarding the front gates. And that will be... And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have history with Team Star. 
That means I can't operate it out in the open. I'll back... I'll back you up from afar. All right. And what will be my role? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as monster support. You're a cautious little one. Cautious one, all right. I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan of advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Masu. Director Cavill? I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student, just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. I mean, he... With some of the students that we've seen, he could literally be one of the students. Like, it does not seem like they have an age restriction for the school. But, I'm gonna try again. Let's see. Because I'm kind of tired of grinding right now. I don't want to grind because I'm, like, actually tired right now. Like, I want... Tired as in, I want to go to sleep. But I, I want to finish this. Because we're, like at this point, right? But if this isn't as his if this even is his, if this isn't even his ace, then we're probably not going to beat him because he's level 29 or whatever as his first pokemon. So he's probably in like 32 or like 35 even. So we'll see. I wonder if the sandstorm will actually affect the battle or not. You don't have to play this entire thing again. You really you really don't need to do this entire cutscene, and there's no way to skip it. Very poggers. Okay. Can we start the battle now? I understand. I've already seen these. So I think we get one shot anyways. <laughs> uh, I kind of hate this game for limiting your levels. I, I really don't like it. That's my that's my one criticism of this game. My one my one major criticism is like limiting my levels is just lame. Like putting the caps on your levels for based on the gym badge is really lame because it's not it's not giving you any sort of so it's ghost water because it says dark is super effective interesting it's not giving you the opportunity to like explore this thing on your own it's really like you have to do it our way or else it's kind of sad sandstorm's gone uh I'm gonna sack a Pollineer. It's probably not the best strategy, but I'm gonna sack a Pollineer. Oh, there's still Sandstorm going on, it's just not showing. We're gonna throw back in T. T might be a. Uh, staple of the team. We'll see. Intimidate again, so it's minus two now on attack. And then we're gonna heal you up. And then it's gonna crit me, isn't it? That would be my luck. I feel like this move would be a high crit chance move. I think I'm gonna hone claw and then heal if I can. Please live, please live, please live. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Crit! God damn it! I'm so fucking mad! I knew it was gonna happen! Oh, that's so annoying. Of course it crits me. Okay. We're gonna send in Helios.
At least Helios is holding out for us so that we can heal up T again. He'll get minus three attack. Oh, I'm so mad. That crit's so annoying. I might hone claws immediately then. Another crit. It's got to be a high crit ratio move. That's just so annoying. He's still getting hit by Sandstorm, which is nice. I feel like if we didn't get crit, we might have died to the Sandstorm. This is only his first Pokemon as well, so... For a second, I'm like, will we outspeed? But that's not what Home Claws does. Home Claws increases accuracy. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's not. So it's Psychic type? Because it's not uh, Ghost type. Because we can hit with this. Uh, Home Claws, but we don't actually really use. Okay, cool. Brother. Okay. I mean, there's some life in this. I, I kind of like the immense struggle of this game right now. It's not always fun, but it's interesting. It keeps things interesting. Like, really trying outside the box strategies to beat OP mons. Like, beating the, the tusk was great. A fucking course, man! Stop creating! Oh, my God. Brother's at minus three, but he keeps critting, so it doesn't matter! Okay, well, I don't even, again, I don't think we can win right now. Uh, I think I set grassy terrain, honestly. Is he gonna kill though? No, he's not, okay, set grassy terrain. He's gonna die to sandstorm. And we'll see what he sends out next. Just be like two Magikarps, knowing this game is going to have, like, a Gyarados. Okay. Veluza's down. That thing was annoying. Wug Trio. That thing's really fast. But I think we'll be fine? That thing's definitely got Aqua Jet on it, too. I don't know. I don't feel like it does that much damage, but it probably does. We're running out of super potions as well. Headbutt. Jeez, come on. Okay, maybe it does that much damage. Uh... He's gonna Aqua Jet next turn, isn't he? I think I'm going to switch to Loaf. That's my bag. I think I'm going to switch to Loaf. We'll see how Loaf handles this. If he headbutts again, we could get a poison point off. The leftovers and the terrain help keep Loaf sustained. That's still quite a bit of damage. And we don't get uh, Sandstorm buffed. I don't think lowering its speed is really even worth it. Of course we get flinched and can't move, but he can't get poisoned. Oh, the hacks in this battle is so annoying. I think we could have maybe pulled off something here, but we're wasting our terrain. We get a poison jab off. Oh, that was crazy damage, actually. Speed fell. I'm okay with that. That was actually crazy damage. 
But now I'm like, is he just gonna use Water Pulse every turn now? And then am I gonna get Water Pulse confused? What level is this thing even? I didn't even check. 29, okay. Uh, this should heal. You know it's bad when I have more Hyper Potions than I do Supers. Okay, Terrain's gone, which isn't bad, because that means Log Trio is getting doused by Sand. Okay. I think Sandstorm also increases our special defense a bit, so that's that's probably helping us against this Log Trio, keeping us real bulky. Um, okay. Let's do Poison. Okay, thank you. I'm like, do not confuse. Okay, just confirming that we will be slower than whatever comes out. I mean, there's life here. There's definitely life here. 24 for Minty. We still have Minty in the back, too. I'm going to keep Crabominal. That's an ice type. Crabominal, well, he's probably going to crystallize to a water type. I think... Okay. Tide ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. Okay, I think... I think we can pull this off, actually. Crabominal is kind of scary. Level 30. Not too bad. Let's see how much damage he does. Depending on how much damage he does, we'll determine if I start reviving other Pokemon. Because if he doesn't do that much damage, I'll just start reviving Pokemon. Prepare the Riggin for a big transformation. A Pokemon's gone. Throck the bow. No. Bro! I'm so mad. Are you kidding me? The hacks in this battle! The hacks! Oh, are you kidding? That's so s fucking stupid. Oh. Oh my. Are you. Oh. Oh, I'm actually so sad. I'm actually so sad, bro. Game Freak, why can't you make a good game? For the love of God! Okay. Uh, I'm... I'm not really mad, honest, like, honestly. It's cool to know that we could probably have won. I did a little search ski to figure out how to evolve... Chardette or whatever the heck. I, I don't know how to pronounce any of these Pokemon's names, man. But uh, for all intents and purposes, our Apollinear, the Pokemon that we have named Apollinear, I figured out how to evolve him by looking it up. And you need a specific item. And to get that item, you need to trade items with Pokemon. How's it going, Potato? I'm doing good. We're grinding a bit. We're looking for Bronzor so we can evolve our Apollinear. Apollinear, I got a new Pokemon that is Apollinear. It is, uh, it has a terrestrialized, a Terra type of ghost. So now we have a cool ghost, or partly ghost Pokemon. With this Apollinear. Um, why am I, why am I bad? Oh, also I caught a big, um, salt guy. The evolution of the salt guy for Merlin. We gotta remember to trade that to Merlin. But this is the new Apollinear. Terra type ghost. Still has flash fire, which is kind of amazing. So he'll be he'll be immune to like fighting and fire. So ghost is not bad. I didn't mean to throw this at him, but it works. I think this guy over here is who I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure I have 10, so. So 
So we got a set of auspicious armor. A particular set of armor that can make a certain species of, of Pokemon evolve. Auspicious armor wishes... Auspicious wishes live within it. Sorry, I don't know why I couldn't read that. So now we go into bag. And now... We evolve it. The auspicious armor. Onto a Polyneer. What? A Polyneer's evolving! Look at that! Sheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
All right, we're gonna Mega Drain. Are you actually kidding me, game? With these hacks, this guy has so many hacks. He literally crashed again three times. <laughs> you know what, man? Actually, he's gonna Aqua Jet this turn. I I have a feeling. I'm gonna Hyper Potion. Bro, I'm giving this one to Minty. I'm not. I'm not. I was gonna switch out, but I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna give this one to Minty. We got this. Brother got three flinches from God, bro. There we go. We actually get to attack. Man, feels feels nice. There we go. Okay, Minty gets a KO. Now we're gonna terrestrialize v terrestrialize because we got the biggest. We got the biggest like Uno reverse card, I think. He's gonna send in Crab Bominal. We're gonna send in a Polyneer. He's not gonna see it coming. We didn't even need Loaf to to freaking um, stall. <laughs> We didn't need Loaf to stall. Oh yeah, Crabominal, how about Terrastalized into Psy Shock? I need to get like Shadow Ball on this guy. If I even can. Oh baby. Look at this dude. Oh, let's go. He's probably got like knockoff, knowing me. Knowing my luck, he's probably got like knockoff. But I'm thinking this guy's usually fire or fighting ice. He's going into water type. I terrestrialize into ghost. He can't hit me with any of those fighting type moves he's got. I was I don't no longer am weak to uh, water. Let's see. One old man Kafu special coming right up. Hang on tight or get swept by something. Crab hammer. Come on, we eat this. Brother. Okay, you know what? We're getting the Will-O-Wisp off, I believe. Oh my god, this game hates me. Come on. Brother. Okay. Sure game. Sure. Also, it's cool because his, his freaking fire changes to bl a black flame when he changes into a ghost. I love that. Okay. You know what? You know what, bro? Get loafed on. Brother. No even no even poison point proc no poison point proc at all Okay Brother Okay I think this is what I'm gonna do Switch to Pomo heal Minty switch to T lower his attack God Brother, they hate me in this game. He fucking flinched me 82 times. We avoided an attack. Uh, actually, you, uh, no. I'm gonna try to nuzzle if I can. Yeah, let's go. Get paralyzed, idiot. Now it's your turn for hacks. And it's also started sandstorming in the battle. Okay. I'm gonna send in T. I'm gonna lower his attack by one. Uh I have some max revives. I'm gonna use a max revive on not that I hate how I don't like that, but whatever, a Polyneer, I guess. Dodge a crab arm or crab hammer. Okay, whatever. We still have Helios to heal someone. 
But I was gonna revive uh, Loaf. Is he not even taking damage from the Sandstorm, or is the Sandstorm just not actually happening? Uh... Okay, we're gonna do Energy Ball. Stab, super effective. Let's go! Minty Hyper Carry. Fuck you, you cheating hacker. Give me a damn badge. Apollinear levels up. Thank you, Minty, for the Hyper Carry. Vault and Veluza. You're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say for so myself. He's a man of God. He doesn't like how much I swear at him. <laughs> a loss or as refreshing... A, lo a loss as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just a little helpless. I'm just like a little helpless Magikarp to you, huh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You'll never be crash awake. You got me good, I tell ya. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight until the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over your gym badge. I feel like this text would have been great if the game didn't crash my last time and I won. And that let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. I don't want to take a picture with you. That is funny though. That's a very funny picture. With two badges in your possession, Pokemon of of up to 30 will be easier to catch and listen to you when you ask them to. Let me throw this in too, too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Chilling water. The user attacks the target by shower, showering it with water that is so cold it saps the target's power. This lowers the target's attack stat. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, it's about time I head back to my restaurant and go prepping for the next wave. You come back and see me now, you hear? Fuck you. Shout out to everyone who believed in me in chat. Shout out to Minty. Pardon me, would you be Masu? The Masu I've been hearing so much about. Oh wait, no. Nimona. And mentioned that you there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is ha Hassel. I am one of the elite four of the Pokemon League. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I was hearing people saying that there might not be an elite four. I'm glad to hear that there's an elite four. Awesome. I also teach art class at the academy. So, do tell me, young Masu, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? Uh, for fun, I guess? Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paddean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies in with within you as well. Bro, walk in. Should you continue to strive, continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train starting now. It will save your ex you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Now, do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. You know what? That's actually interesting. Um, we have... Um... So we have basically every single type as something, right? Not every gym leader has every type, but there's the types get filled in by the Titans and the Team Star. So will the Elite Four have a specific typing that they use? 
like they usually do? Or will the Elite Four have like a mixture of different things? 